On this episode of the Salon Experience, I'm doing things a little differently. I'm taking this series on the road and I'm heading to New York City. There, I'll be visiting Wesley South Studio in Lower Manhattan. Hi, this is Tamika Wesley of Wesley South Studio. And today we are going to be working with the lovely Shari J. We are going to be doing highlights and style and we're going to use a uh, color formulated specifically for dark hair. So a highlight color made especially for dark hair. Naturals sometimes are a little scared to color their hair, process their hair, but when it's done properly with the right steps and technique, it will breathe. So this is our questionnaire. Fill out as much as you can about your diet, nutrition, products you use, um, if your hair is shutting, Last time we had a trim and um, if you experience an any hair loss, so forth. And this way you can have an understanding as to what your hair is doing, what your history is, and what you may have in your hair chemical wise. Okay. And then so you can formulate the proper um, color source and oh. formulation for you. Awesome. Okay? All right. All right. So these are done. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. mostly in this halo crown area okay. so this way it looks like it's all over but we're faking the funk so okay. this way you have color and it's like ooh but then those subtle things you might want to just come up mm -hmm. and it'll just be little sprinkles up here okay. and you'll have the good a contrast between the highlights and your natural color oh cool, cool. the thing about doing halo is especially if you never had color because it eases you in mm -hmm. get your feet wet so for the virginies, the covenants, mm -hmm. you know, if I said that correctly. <laughs> <laughs> it allows them to get a little bit of color. And then this way, if they ever want to do full head, mm -hmm. they'll see what it looks like without okay. actually coming into a full head right. of highlights or color. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Anything color? Mm -hmm. Okay. The technique we're going to be using is a foil. A foil technique, which allows for more control, mm -hmm. especially because your hair is nice and dense mm -hmm. and thick, and um, I'll be able to control exactly where I want the uh, highlights okay. and where they'll pop and give you the most sizzle. And the color we're using again is a highlight color, which means that no bleach or lightness will be needed to lift the, your natural color and then the pot. Okay. So it will be called a single process highlights. And the color does not have any ammonia and all of the other scary chemicals that a lot of color has. And this is not box color. We're using professional based color. And this formula will be specific to your hair. So it's not a mass to do say, hey, can I get the number two? Mm -hmm. No, we're gonna formulate this specifically for you. So when you come back and you need a retouch, I can go to your profile, check what I did last, mm -hmm. and I'll know exactly what we used for you. Okay. We're starting with dry hair that uh, I had you shampoo just once to get rid of the gels. Mm -hmm. Because if you have too much product in your hair, the color cannot pass through it. Okay. Oils are okay, but the heavy gels or really heavy butters will stop the process. So we want to ensure that we don't go through the whole process of coloring hair and it's not going to do anything. Right. This is our color and this is our developer. And we have to mix the two evenly. I formulated two different colors for Shari and um, like a level six and a neutral color and a level five, which would be our cinnamon. And we just want to mix these two very evenly and creamy. 
Make sure it's nice and pancake batter. <laughs> okay, okay. And we will begin. Or what should you do before you get color? Like, how do you prepare for it? Um, well, first to prepare at least a week or do two weeks of a good protein conditioner mm -hmm. to strengthen up the hair. And um, if there's any broken pieces, you want to mend those. You want the hair to be in pretty overall good condition. Okay. Because the color is going into the cuticle layer of your hair and it's going to open it up. So if your hair is damaged already, that cuticle layer is already, cuticle layer is already ruffled mm -hmm. and roughed up and you're just gonna break it down even more. And then after color, you want to slow up on protein and definitely keep the hair moist. Just like you would do anyway, mm -hmm. um, maybe incorporate a protein treatment once a month versus if one may do it twice a month. You don't want too much protein anyway because protein can make the hair hard and snap. So definitely like a nice deep moisturizing treatment. Um, you can do your regular pre pill but something that is formulated to be left on the hair for at least 30 minutes so that it can go deep into the strands and hydrate the hair. And what do you do? Like I hear that color fades over time. So is it okay to wash? I will usually wash my hair once a week, is that okay? That's fine. The, the, if you're using any shampoo, mm -hmm. when you have color, that's where you want to use the no sulfates. Okay. Because sulfate shampoo is going to strip that color out of the hair. Okay. And for some people who do like to wash their hair a lot, you know, shampoo often with the shampoo, that's just going to keep stripping the color, stripping the color, stripping the color, mm -hmm. and it's going to cause it to fade. Also, if um, client's hair is not ready for color, if it's breaking in any way, I will not do the service because we want to ensure the health of the hair before, you know, doing color and making it look pretty. Yeah. We're done with our application of our foils. They're neatly wrapped in. And we're going to use plastic to insulate them. We're not using any heat source. We're going to use the heat from the scalp with the plastic to process our foils. This is going to sit for 20 minutes mm -hmm. and then we'll proceed to sit. So at this stage we are going to rinse the foil. We're going to keep the foils in as we rinse as to not disturb each color so nothing bleeds and I'm going to rinse with warm water not too hot. Hot water can pull the color out of the strands. You see the foils will kind of slide right off without pulling on the hair. We want the water to get in there. Real color. right after color just to add a little bit of strength to the hair So I'm using a 
oil that has um, a mixture of different oils. In our consultation, I asked Shari if she was allergic to anything. And I do that because with using oil, sometimes people are allergic to certain nuts. And there's a lot of nut butters and oils that a lot of companies use. So to prevent anyone from having a reaction, we can monitor that via our consultation. And I'm just passing the conditioner through. I'll do it this way just to ensure that all of the strands of hair are getting coated with the products, as opposed to just globbing it on in one big ponytail while ensuring that all of the hair is getting coated and treated. And I am gonna be using Wonder Curl Butter Than Love Pudding, nice and creamy, right there. I'm gonna some of the product out into a bowl because I don't want to dig my fingers in and contaminate the fresh cream. I'm gonna do them about an inch and a half. On the next episode of the Salon Experience, I head to Southfield, Michigan to visit Swank Salon. There I get a protective style done by stylist Tisha Tillman. She also talks about her simple approach to styling and caring for natural hair.